Good morning, sunshine. So I'm gonna be heading to the gym. I'm gonna drop off my my younger son, and then later I'm gonna be getting to this bad boy. I'll be doing a full detail on her. So let's get to it. Let's go to the gym. Gosh, this thing is. Good morning guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be uh, giving my truck a, a good wash and a good detail. It needs it, it has been washed in about a week or two. We went out to Phoenix and uh, has been washed since then. So today I'm gonna to be going over a couple products, just a quick little run through of them, what I'm using as far as my setup, and uh, we'll go from there, all right? What's up guys, welcome to the channel. This is Off Duty Detailing and I'm gonna be starting a channel trying to show you guys what I do as far as products, how I uh, detail a vehicle. And today I have a quick setup, as you guys can tell behind me. I have some products, some equipment, and here's a filthy truck that I need to wash. Check this thing out, this thing is filthy. I mean, look at these rims. Wheels undercarriage, wheel wells, everything. All right, so today I'm gonna to be going over what I use as far as my equipment, buckets, uh, products, chemicals, all that good stuff. So this one I'm gonna be using for the wheels and rims, tires, same thing. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be wheels and tires. This is gonna be a, a wash one and this will be a rinse. Doesn't matter, you can label them. I don't have them labeled right now. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be the setup. Use a nice mitt, microfiber. Right here I have the 1700 PSI, 1.3 um, gallons per minute pressure washer. It's not the you know strongest pressure washer out there. It's electric, but it does the job. I also have a blower, which I use for drying the vehicle and then drying it off with one of the larger microfiber towels you can see here. Have a couple small ones as well. Uh, so basically I just have a Carnuba Meguiar's uh, wash and wax that I've been using. Really like this stuff. Have a foam cannon. Turtle wax cylinder shine. Some tire wet if you want to apply some tire dressing to your vehicle. Some interior cleaner that I like from Meguiar's as well. Some glass cleaner just picked up this one today so we'll see how this works and then um, I'm using the hybrid this is basically like a sealant gloss spray so I'll be trying this out as well a couple different brushes that I've been using and some interior detailing for all the little cracks and crevices all the vents all that good stuff and then here's my gun this is a surface max professional I picked this up from Lowe's about a couple months ago been really enjoying it. Has a couple different tips on it. Has a long uh, barrel on it as well. Good reach. Has a little grip on it. So that's basically it, guys. As of right now, I'm gonna be. So since I'm gonna be using this one as the wash one, I'm just gonna add a about an ounce or two in here as well. Just like that. I'm gonna add some water. And then this one's just going to be plain water. It's just going to be a rinse bucket. This one I also can add a little bit of, of soap. Just a little bit. Because I'm going to be using the actual wheel cleaner itself once I actually apply it. All right, so here we have it. We have a rinse bucket, wash bucket, wool and tire cleaner bucket. We have the pressure washer all set up. 
And then we have the foam cannon here as well, ready to go. One other thing before starting, if you guys are messing with uh, some acids or some strong chemicals, make sure you guys wear some gloves. And um, anything you do as far as you know your equipment, make sure that you run it beforehand, that you don't point at the vehicle and uh, actually shoot the nozzle off. All right, so onto the wheel cleaning. I'm gonna be spraying this non-acid uh, wheel and tire cleaner. This chemical be careful with. Um, you wanna make sure you're wearing some gloves, obviously if you're touching the product, but right now I'm gonna be using a brush. So, should be okay. You don't wanna sit, let it sit for about, no more than 30 seconds to let it actually do its um, work. You can tell the color is already kind of like a reddish, taking off all that dirt and grime. And then you're gonna have to pre-wash it really good. <clears throat> Give it a good wash. And since the vehicle was so dirty, I'm going to give it um, a second application. And then on this application, I'm going to be using the, the wheel woolly, clean it up a little bit. So once I'm done with this process, once I'm done with cleaning it, I'm going to show you guys what I do. I like to use this little guy as well to get all the crevices off all the ins and outs and then once we're done with this we'll give it another quick wash and it should be good on this wheel and we'll do that to all four i think one of the most important parts is actual the prep work is the power washing because it gets all the bugs off loosens everything and then the foam canning as well it pretty much breaks down all that tar, bugs, all that good stuff, so. So the vehicle's all nice and rinsed off. Um, the next process is gonna be using the blower to blow out some of the water, make it a little easier for the hand, uh, hand drying with the, the microfiber. And also it's, it's good for getting all the interiors of the mirrors around the door hinges all that good stuff so i'm gonna give it a quick blow down once i'm done with that i'll give a quick little wipe down with the large microfiber towel which is so so much easier So as you can tell, just with the actual blower itself, it did a pretty good job of drying it up. But now I'm gonna be going with the large microfiber towel and giving the truck a full wipe down as well. As you can tell, there's still a little bit of water beading on here. Not too bad. 
but I would say about 80% of the vehicle is dried off. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock the rest out with this bad boy. So at this point, once the vehicle is all dry, I'm gonna be going on to the door jams, clean all around. Give this all a quick wipe down. Since I'm already done drying, I'm just gonna be using the same large towel. It's already accumulated some nice water on it. Helps out with uh, grabbing some of the dirt and stuff on the door jams as well. And then um, once I'm done with that, I'll throw in the washer. So we're good there. Make sure all this is nice and clean. I won't go onto this portion of it yet. That's gonna be for an interior. Um, I'm gonna be grabbing one of the smaller microfiber tiles on that. But anything that's pretty much painted, will be going around. And all the door jams, all the seals, nice and clean. Make sure you grab under here as well. So the only thing I have left is the exterior windows and the interior now. So I'm gonna be using this, uh, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. Griots, Grots, I'm not sure. But I'm gonna be trying this out. It's an ultra premium glass cleaner. Um, I'll let you guys know what my review is on it. It's the first time trying it, so let's do it. So right off the bat, just the first two windows, I can tell that this stuff works pretty good. Even with the mirror. Nice and shiny. So I'm just gonna finish up with the windows and then we'll get to the interior and wrap this baby up. One of the things that I really wanted to mention if you're using a glass cleaner is make sure that there's no ammonia, no dyes or any of that stuff if you, especially if you have tint. Now, if you do want to use a product that has that stuff, like if it's stronger base or if you need it for uh, some other type of window cleaning, then go ahead and use that. But for vehicles and vehicles that have tint, especially you want to make sure they don't have any dyes, no ammonia that can actually ruin your tent. So. Just a heads up guys, nice and clean. Totally forgot to mention that I needed to do the wheels still. Um, they should be nice and clean. The only thing you're gonna have to do is probably just get like a damp cloth, not too much, but just a little bit and uh, give the rims a nice little wipe down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So the next step would be vacuuming the vehicle. I'm beginning underneath the mats, the actual seats themselves. You wanna make sure that you're not gonna be cutting any of the material or fabric. So make sure it's a nice dull edge to it. It's not gonna actually cut into the material or leather or whatever you're using. So this will be the next process. Once I'm finished up with this, I'm gonna give the whole interior a wipe down with some of the Meguiar's interior cleaner. It's not too bad up on top, um, but it does need a little bit of 
care up in here. I'm gonna vacuum all up in the crevices here as well. Get all the carpet and we'll go from there. So another thing you can do to save time is um, if you grab your interior cleaner. You're gonna wanna just spray this a couple times. The only reason why I say this, if you um, wanna knock out your vehicle a little faster and to stay on the same side so you're not having to come back to this, is just once you're done vacuuming, you know, whatever side you're doing, say if you're doing the driver's side, you can, um, just bring out your interior cleaner, whichever type you're using, spray the chemical, wipe it down, and then you don't have to actually come back to this side. So I'm gonna give this a quick wipe down. And if you want to, you can even knock out the middle console if you can reach it from here. Knock out all this. Nice and clean, has a good, nice little scent to it. I've been using this stuff for quite a while now. I know eventually I'll switch over to some other type of interior cleaner. But for the meantime, it's easily accessible in the stores. Um, you can find it in Walmart, Amazon, you know, you can find it on at your local uh, Pet Boys or AutoZone. So it's easy pickup, easy snag to get, and it works well. It doesn't leave that shiny like texture to it. it gives it that natural look. When you actually spray it on, it's obviously gonna look wet, but once it's dried off, it looks really well. So right here, as you can tell, within seconds, it pretty much dries all the way out, back to its normal state. So that's one of the reasons I really like it. It doesn't leave any residue. It's not sticky or tacky, so. So another quick little detail, and if you want to shine above the others, you can use this little, kind of like a little duster, you can say, you know, just like an interior duster for your home. But it's just, I'm gonna repeat the same thing on this side. So at this point in the wash, the truck is uh, pretty much complete the only thing that uh, if you want to you can dress the tires with a, a nice um, you know tire applicator or some type of foaming agent um, there's some that you can use mitts on them as well so depending on what you like if you like a like a gloss look you can get you know like a super high gloss look or a matte black look uh, depends on on your liking so um, the tires are super clean right now as you can tell but I'm gonna be applying um, actual finish to it, which I'll be showing you once I get that started. But at this point, I'm gonna be applying some of this Chemical Guys High Gloss Spray. It's a sealant. Right now the paint's clean, but it's not very, like, you know, smooth to the touch. Like, it, normally when you have a nice seal, you'll see the microfiber just kinda of like slide off of it. Still pretty clean right now, but I'm gonna apply this and then I'll let you guys know how it comes out. And I've um, heard some good things about this product, so I'm gonna be trying it out myself for the first time, and I'll give you guys a review on that as well. So one thing with this product, um, how you're gonna apply it is you're gonna be spraying it a, a cool area. You wanna make sure the vehicle's in a nice, cool area. Um, and then you're gonna be using a microfiber towel to just wipe it off. So that's how I'm gonna be applying it. And then also you can use this product after every wash. So that's the nice thing about it. It's not like a wax. It's not uh, gonna be a, 
on your actual paint for three to six months like other ones so you can use this application every time you wash it so I'm gonna try this out and we'll see how it works so I just did this panel right here and just this side of the hood and you can already tell how much more smoother it is it just kind of wants to fly off when I throw it on the hood really nice and smooth finish guys so once I'm finished up with the whole vehicle, I'll let you guys know what I think about it and as far as how it puts up against other, you know, chemicals, other agents. So, so far so good. So finally, the last process of this vehicle, this 2019 Silverado truck, is gonna be the tire shine. I'm using this Black Magic Intense Wet and this foaming actual applicator. So I'm gonna be spraying it. This stuff is pretty thick, so I don't like to just leave it on there. So I like to wipe it down and then I'll get a microfiber and just wipe the remaining uh, residue off. Nice and clean. If you guys want me to try a particular product that you've been thinking of or wanting to try, write it down below in the comments and I'll check it out. Hopefully be able to make a video about it. But if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one.